Hey guys, today I have my October favorite and once again, I'm kind of late on filming this. I'm so sorry. So I was trying to decide if I should just skip October and just do it all together for my September and October favorites, but I was like, no, I'll just do it. I have one, two, three, four, five products that I've um, really been enjoying lately. So let's get started. Okay, so the first product that I've been wishing for a lot lately is this lip product and it's from Aritam, which is Korean and it's the Wannabe Cushion Tint number 1 in Fillmore. So it says Fillmore right there and the color is right here on the cap. When you open it, there it is. It's pretty skinny and then the other side, it has a sponge so that you could blend it out. So this is a tint, but I like to just wear it as a lipstick. Maybe the red colors will look really pretty as a tint. So I haven't really used the sponge yet. And I got this for $5 because at H Mart next to our house, they were selling this for two for $10. They were having a sale. So yeah, I got it for $5. So this is what I have on my lips today. It's like a coral peach shade. It's matte. And this is really similar to my Shurmura number MCR342 lipstick that I showed you guys a couple months ago. This is a Asian limited color, I think. So that's how the Shurmura color looks like. And then let me swatch this one. If you look really closely, the Shurmura is a little bit more orange. And then the Arutaum, it has a slight pink tint to it. So both are gorgeous colors. When I first applied this one on, I was like, oh, that feels just like my Shure Mura one because like they both feel very soft and velvety. And when I apply it on the lips, like I don't feel anything. Even right now, I just feel like I have not even chapstick. Like it just feels like my lips and it's super pigmented. And this one smells really good. There is no scent to the Shure Mura one, but I could smell this all day. And it's really skinny, so. It's really easy to apply it on the lip. So moving on, this is an eyeliner. This is from L'Oreal. It's in the color black brown. And on here it says 16 hours. So I'm guessing it should last for about 16 hours, but mm, I think the max I put on makeup is maybe 10 hours and it stayed on till the night. So that's good. If you guys are looking for a really good drugstore eyeliner, I highly recommend this. Um, let me swatch this for you. It's like a gel liner. I've been grabbing for this a lot, um, especially when I just go out somewhere really quick um, and I don't want to grab my brush to apply my MAC gel liner. I just line my eyes really quickly with this so it doesn't smudge, but if you keep rubbing it, it does come off a little bit, but it doesn't get all messy. Also works great to tight line. And this is what I use today to line the inner corners down here. There is a sponge tip right here, I guess, so that you could blend out the line, but I don't really use it because I like to use Q-tips. This is a skincare product and it's from Laneige, Laneige and it's a multi-cleanser, multi-action. And I saved a box here. It says um, it has four different actions in this cleanser. Number one, it melts away makeup. Number two, it rinses away sunscreen. Number three, it gently exfoliates with natural papaya. And then it also thoroughly cleanses for brighter, fresher feeling skin. So this is like my third week using this because you know that Biore face wash that I love? Once again, it's out of stock. So I'll probably have to wait another year to get that. So I had to get another cleanser and I'm really happy with this purchase. This is for all skin types and I haven't really used this to remove my makeup because I like to double cleanse. So I use like cleansing oil or makeup wipe before I use a cleanser. But since it says it removes makeup, I'm pretty sure it will remove your makeup. Love how this one cleanser does a lot of things like cleanses the face, exfoliates and brightens the skin. So it smells really nice. It has a really um, clean scent. And literally I just need like not even a pea size, like half of a pea size amount and it creates this really thick, nice, rich lather. So I just wash my face with it and then finish it off with toner and moisturizer. This is a nail polish. This is from Essie 
Yeah, it's in the color 946. Yeah, it's a less effects um, multi-dimension top coat. Since it's gold, it looks good with anything. I always put on my fourth finger um, whenever I wear burgundy color nail polishes, pink, and even black. And this is the color combination that I had on for New York last week. It dries really quick, but you have to make sure to kind of dab it on if you want the full effect because if you just brush it on, you're not gonna get a lot of the pretty glitter thing. So I just pack it on. There's like different size um, glitters in here. So I think that's what makes it really pretty. The last product is another lip product. And this is the Georgia Mani Maestro Lip product in the color 504. And I first saw this on Hajiwon because she wore it out on one of the dramas and on this um, show where she did her own makeup. It's a super bright fuchsia color. It's very long lasting, like stains the lips. Sometimes it's even hard for me to get it off my skin like after I swatch it. And yeah, that's going to be there for a few days. <laughs> that's why um, usually I use a Q-tip now to blend it. I forgot, and I use my fingers. So if you guys follow me on Instagram, saw the recent pictures of me with the bright fuchsia lips, it's this product. And even in New York, I had this lip product on and a lot of people were asking what I had on my lips. So that was all for my current favorite, you guys. Also, let me know down below some of your current favorites and I'll catch you guys later. Bye.